What's up, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be uh, showing you how to replace your brake pads and your brake discs. So, the other thing that you're supposed to know how to do is to lubricate your material. So, I also bought, uh, bought this uh, copper spray for the brake pads uh, as well as uh, the brake material. Here. The brake pad, and then here is the brake disc. Let me show you here. So these are the brake brake pads, and uh, yeah. You need to ensure, make sure that your hand brake is up. You see, make sure the hand brake is up, and. Uh, you can also use brake or oh, brakes like this just to stop your car from uh, rolling over and then also use your your spare tire for safety reasons so i'm just gonna jack up the car and then after checking up the car using this standard standard jack i'm gonna ensure that uh, the car is stable it's not moving and it's safe for everything. That's John Malu. Go crazy. You can check up, you can lift up your car uh, and make sure that you have your brakes, you have your tires for safety measures. The car will be ready for you to start working on it as soon as you get some gap. So you continue lifting up your car. Until you can feel that the tire is now on the on the air, it's lifted. But professionally, you can actually buy yourself some jack stands. You can also get these uh, jack stands from Take a Lot and lift up uh, your car professionally. So you can leave your tire here, leave your bricks and leave your jet like this, it's fine. The most important thing is for you to have access to your nuts and uh, to the area in which you'll be working your car. So we don't have power tools here, what we're going to be doing is using our hands, I'm just going to be using my hands because I've already broken the nuts and they are now this. And you can come check here. You can see the tire. The brake disc is finished as you can see here. We are not supposed to have this overlap or, or this groove here. It's not supposed to, it's supposed to be like a disc flat and not have like this 
gap here so it's finished if it's like this in the brake pads you can see they're almost finished that's why whenever you're driving they're busy doing that uh, squealing noise so instead of maybe going to your steering you, you can, can uh, actually just, uh turn your your wheel from this side to have access to the uh to their bolts but in this case my steering wheel was locked so i couldn't uh turn it from this side so it means i will have to go to my car and insert the key switch on the key and unlock the steering wheel to ensure that i uh switch the wheel to face the other direction the left direction fully by hand So here is there. Okay, you need to get your flat screwdriver in order for you to pump back, uh, back the cylinder. You can see here this is where the other side of the disc is. What you need to do is to push it a bit to the inside. We need to suppress this uh, piston here and it's supposed to go to the inner side. It's supposed to be flat down like this. And the reason for doing this is because the new brake pairs will be a bit thicker than the, the old ones. The old ones are still compressed by the pressure of the piston. Before loosening up uh, the bolts on the brake caliber, you must ensure that uh, the piston is fully suppressed so that uh, you can have uh, full space for the new brake pads. And then you remove these uh, plastic covers for the rubber. So whatever you do, uh, make sure you protect your line, your brake fluid line, because in this area, the brake fluid line is the most sensitive part in your brake systems. From your set of spline sockets, make sure that you use the T45 to unlock here. You will also need to secure your brake caliber. It's either you use a cable tie 
or you use a steel wire but for for these videos for the purposes of this video i'm just gonna be using this steel wire and this is to actually protect your brake your brake uh, cable here so what you need to do is to remove the old brake pads like this remove the second one you see how finished they are they are almost finished but as soon as they begin uh, touching this because this is a, a measuring tool this is a measuring sensor as soon as they, they begin touching the measuring sensor then it starts making that squealing noise whenever you drive you can hear some noise it's an irritating noise that you can hear when driving your car so for now because i want to remove the brake disc i'm just gonna hang this here on the top to keep it safe So now I'm just going to be working, I'm going to work on removing this disc and it's easier to remove this disc here, you can check your, your, your splines to see the, to find the good size and you only need to break because it only holds on this on this screw here, it doesn't hold on these other ones, on these other ones it holds whenever you uh, put back your tire then the other ones will hold the entire disc so the disc is only holding on this one here just break it loose and then remove it like this it's easy Sometimes the um the lock the lock my rusty. How can you cover it and you any rust and you put your parts in on it? I can't even. So you just grease and put it back in. Sure that you clean the areas where your brake uh, brake pads go because they go in like this here and they need to have a play. They play here, so you're gonna clean here and then duplicate duplicate this area using this spray here. But for now, let me show you how to clean this area. Just pour. You can even use plain 
secure tap water and clean this area here. As you can see how much gas is coming out here. And clean this other part here at the top. Then make sure you wipe it to dry it. Uh, liquid moly copper spray so that you can spray this area here Cage using a uh, little bit of grease here so that it can uh, move smoothly and freely on these chambers here. It's supposed to have a little bit of play, it's supposed to be stiff, it go in and out freely. Do the same on this other one here. Yeah? Apply grease. And then we're gonna apply a little bit of uh, copper spray onto the actual brake pad as well. Just here. Just don't want to mess it up. Just gonna do the same on this other side. So this is actually gonna go on the onto the caliber. Okay, before I go into the caliber, let me do this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put in the uh, the disc now. So I want to apply copper spray as well into this, just as good. Because actually the copper spray is uh, some sort of a high temperature lubricant. It, pre it uh, prevents your, your steel your steel uh, parts from uh, rusting and stuff. And I ensure that I align 
this here with this here for the screw. This, this area is all here. I'm <laughs> 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 And the mind gonna rise. It's gonna be hard. Fine. Yeah.
Spanish and T45. I don't know if I can complete it. Yeah, maybe I can. I don't know if I can complete it. 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 Too much of it. Yeah, but now. Give it another riding day. More so far, so more cut. No more cut. Just make sure we double check that everything is tight. Yeah, everything that will be tightening here yeah. on the brake caliber. Make sure that it's uh, really tight because we don't want any accidents on the road. Make sure we place everything back where it belongs. We seal the rubber caps and. Uh, I'm just gonna straighten up the tire here so that I can install back the tire.